In this video, we are going to be doing dosage calculations using dimensional analysis using two or more conversions. What this means is that you'll have to know multiple conversions that isn't given to you in the problem in order to solve the dosage calculation. Example one, how many micrograms per minute of nitroglycerin is the client receiving if the pump is set at 12 milliliters per hour? and the concentration of nitroglycerin is 50 milligrams of nitroglycerin and 250 milliliters of D5W. Since the problem wants micrograms per minute, we want to locate micrograms in the problem. Unfortunately, we don't have it. This is what makes these calculations more challenging. Since I do have a conversion with time in the problem, I want to start there. I was given that the pump is set at 12 milliliters per hour. When we set this up using dimensional analysis, I want 12 milliliters on top and I want time on bottom, which is one hour. I don't want to use this anymore, so I like to mark it out in the problem so I don't get myself confused. I don't want milliliters. I'm going to locate milliliters in the problem. I do have it. The nitroglycerin is 50 milligrams and 250 milliliters of D5W. We want milliliters to cancel. So we'll put 50 milligrams on top and 250 milliliters on bottom. Milliliters will cancel. I'm going to mark this out since we have used it. Now, I don't want milligrams. I need to locate it in the problem. I don't have it. This is where we need to know the conversion from milligrams to micrograms since our calculation is asking for micrograms per minute. You should know that one milligram is equal to 1000 micrograms. Since I want micrograms, sorry, since I want milligrams to cancel, I'm going to put 1000 micrograms on top and one milligram on bottom and so my milligrams are going to cancel. The last step is that I want the dosage per minute, not hour. So you need to know that one hour is 60 minutes. Since I had one hour on bottom in the beginning, it will go on top to cancel and 60 minutes is going to be on the bottom. Everything now cancels out that I want and I'm left with milligrams per minute. I'm ready to do the multiplication. I multiply the numbers on top and I get 600,000 and then I multiply the numbers on the bottom and I get 15,000 and then I divide to get 40 micrograms per minute. Example 2, this is my last example in this video. The doctor ordered dopamine 3.5 micrograms per kilogram per minute. Pharmacy delivered dopamine 400 milligrams and 250 milliliters D5W. The nurse obtains the patient weight prior to administration and establishes that the patient weight is 210 pounds. How many milliliters per hour will you deliver via IV pump? Since the problem wants milliliters per hour, we want to locate milliliters in the problem. We have it. There is 400 milligrams of dopamine and 250 mLs D5W. When we set this up using dimensional analysis, I want 250 milliliters on top and 40, 400 milligrams on the bottom. I don't want to use this anymore, so I like to mark it out in the problem so I don't get myself confused. I don't want milligrams. I'm gonna load milligra milligrams in the problem. This is why I like to mark it out because technically I do have it, but this conversion has already been used. So this is where you must know the conversion from milligram to microgram since I have microgram in the problem. One milligram is equal to a thousand micrograms. Since I want milligrams to cancel, I'm going to put one milligram on top and a thousand micrograms on the bottom. Now my milligrams are going to go away. Next, I don't want micrograms. So I locate in the problem and I'm given that the order is 3.5 micrograms per kilogram per minute. I want micrograms to cancel, so I'm going to put 3.5 micrograms on top and 1 kilogram and 1 minute on the bottom. And I'm going to mark this out in the problem since I've used it. The patient's weight is given in pounds. So this is another conversion that you need to know is 
kilograms to pounds, one kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. Since I want kilograms to cancel, I'm going to put one kilogram on top and 2.2 pounds on the bottom. Now my kilograms are going to cancel. I'm ready to use the patient's weight of 210 pounds. This will go on top and one will go on the bottom as a placeholder. And then pounds will cancel. The last step is that I want the dosage per hour, not minute. Since you need to know that you need to know another conversion that one hour is 60 minutes. Since I had one minute on bottom during my third step, it will go on top to cancel. So 60 minutes is going to go on top and one hour will go on the bottom. Everything cancels, all the units cancel that I want to, and I am left with milliliters per hour. Now I'm ready to do the multiplication. I multiply the numbers on top and I get 11,250,000. And then I multiply the numbers on the bottom and I get 880,000. And then I divide to get 12.52. But I do want it to be rounded to the tenths place since I'm doing a milliliter calculation and this would round to be 12.5 milliliters per hour.